those are for kids. So you can do this with your parents, with your family, anybody you're around or just by yourself. Doesn't have to just be a kid. Could be anybody who's out there watching these. So you are gonna be joining the University of Georgia Extension, Family and Consumer Science County Extension Agents, and we're kind of from different counties all over the state. But I am Becca Stackhouse and I am from Chris County, Georgia. So if you'll find our Facebook pages, they're typically UGA Extension, comma, count, whatever the county name is, county. For example, UGA Extension, Chris County, that's what my Facebook page is. And there are gonna be several different videos for your yoga routines posted. So I want you to follow along because yoga is gonna be good for your flexibility, your balance. It's gonna help with self-esteem, body image. It can also help you with your imagination and your creativity. We're gonna go through some reasons of breathing. We're gonna go through some routines and balance. You can play these videos over and over again to give you about several different yoga routines. So join along by grabbing a towel, a yoga mat, whatever you've got that can create your yoga space. Grab a bottle of water and then be close to a table or a wall or a chair so that if you need some help with your balance, you've got that. So come on and let's hop on into the yoga for kids. Our first pose for today's standing routine is gonna be a mountain. So you're gonna stand, shoulder width apart, slightly bent knees. You're gonna pull your toes up to engage your legs. And then I want you to make sure that your palms are facing in and towards your side. This is our mountain pose. This is our pose that is gonna be our beginning and our end. It's also gonna be our transitional pose. So when I say mountain, you're gonna stand just in a mountain. Now transition back into your mountain pose. Stand with your slightly bent knees, shoulder width apart. Take your arms up to your biceps and your ears, palms facing in, and we're gonna sway like a tree. So you're gonna sway to the right and hold it. Come back to the center. Sway to the left, hold it, come back to the center. Sway to your right, come to the center. Sway to your left, sway back to your right, come back to your center, sway back to your left. And now return to your mountain pose. Now from our mountain pose, we're gonna sit back in a chair. You want your feet no wider than your shoulders, but they can be as close together to make it more challenging. Just sit and hold it in your chair. Hold your chair. Come back to your mountain pose. Adjust your feet if you need to. Go back into the chair. Come back to your mountain pose. Let's sit back in the chair. Now let's stand back into our mountain pose. From our mountain pose, we're gonna transition into our deep lunge, which is gonna take us into our dragon. So you wanna be on the ground with making sure that your leg is straight in front of your ankle. Take your arms up and we're in a dragon. So we're gonna sit in this dragon. We're gonna bring our hands down to the middle. And we're gonna do a twisting dragon. So you're gonna take your left elbow to that knee and twist outward. Come back to the middle twist outward, taking that knee to that elbow. One more time. Good job. Now you're going to come back up, stand in your mountain pose, go down into your lunge on the other leg, up into your dragon, 
and then down into your twisted leg. And do the same thing. Take your elbow to your leg. Take your elbow to your leg. Come back to the center. Take your elbow to your leg. Once you've done that, now stand back up into your mouth pose to transition to our next position. From our mountain pose, you're going to widen your feet a little bit as we go down with our right hand, up with our left hand into a triangle. You're going to try to touch the ground beside your foot to the best that you can without locking those knees in. You're going to come back up. We're going to do that several times. Go down, touch that foot. Good job. One more time. Good job. Before we move to the other side, we're going to add in a half moon. So go down and touch, and while you go down, lift up that opposite foot into a half moon. Do that again. Down to your triangle, up with your half moon. Now let's do our triangle to the other side. Touch your left hand to the ground to your left foot. Left hand to left foot. Make sure you're breathing in and out. Left hand to left foot. Good job. Now let's add our half moon. Left hand down, right foot up. Left hand down, right foot up. Good job. Now we're gonna transition back into our mountain pose. From our mountain pose, step one leg forward, take your arms up, go into a small lunge, and we're in your warrior one. Let's hold warrior one for a few minutes. Just keep holding. Then we're going to go down into warrior two. Just hold it. And then we're going to go into warrior three. You're going to lift that back leg as high as you can get it and go out. And you're going to come back down. I'm going to do it one more time. Go up into warrior one. Down into warrior two. And then out into warrior three. Good job. Now come back to your mountain. Put the other leg back. The other leg forward. Up into warrior one. Down into warrior two. And then back into warrior three. Back into warrior one. Down to warrior two, and then up into warrior three. Good job. Now come back into our mountain pose. From the mountain pose, we're going to go into half dancing. You're going to put your left arm up. You're going to grab, this is where you might need some help, grab your other foot and you're going to be in a dancer. From the half dancer, you're going to go up into a full dancer. So let me rotate to see it. You're going to go into a full dancer. So you're going to go down and bring your foot up. Make sure you're keeping your knees bent so you're not hurting it. Let's do it one more time. Up in your half dancer. And then into your full dancer. Go up and out. And just hold it. Come back down. Let's do it on the other side. Up into your half dancer. And then out into your full dancer. You might need that table or chair for some balance. Up into your half dancer. 
and then out into your bull dancer. And then return back to your mountain pose for our transition. We're gonna stretch our muscles a little bit and we're gonna be a gorilla. So you ready? You're gonna go down, squat, have your arms loose, your legs loose, and you're just gonna go back and forth like a gorilla. Feel free to make the loud noises, such as a gorilla. So you're gonna sway this way, sway this way, go back and forth, and just stretch all those muscles out. Thanks for joining us with the Today's Standing Routine.